Wilson Stewart School is a physical disability school uh, with a number of different complex needs as well. Uh, the school itself has come to this residential for over 15 years and uh, it's an absolutely amazing place to come to. We come to the Bendry Trust in, in Cumbria. The reason we're here is because we're doing a range of activities which are all accessible for people with special needs or any kind of disability really. So we do canoeing and then picnic, yeah, and then kayaking. When I was on the climbing wall, I felt brave and excited. It's really fun and I'm enjoying it. And I spent time with my friends outside the classroom. When yeah, the student was in the chair, he was saying, you know, faster, faster, faster. I reckon you'll want to go quite faster. Yeah? Yeah. And it was just a delight to see working as part of a team with the Vendrick Trust uh, staff and our staff as a whole to get that student onto that system and actually have a real good time and do something he will never experience again in his life. It gives them the foundations for them to, to be as independent as possible. Socialisation is key for our students because they haven't got readily access to go to the local shops independently, go to the cinema independently, go to the, the wider things that we as, as staff can do and as mainstream students can do but our students can't do that. Thank you very much. No, thank you. Okay. So you just get yourself Maybe sometimes they start a little bit apprehensive, not sure about what's going to be happening. And gradually as they start to take part in more activities, they, they start enjoying themselves and relaxing into it. And I think they can get a massive sense of uh, achievement and self-esteem uh, from, from what, they, what they do and being given a chance to access things that they, they just wouldn't get anywhere else. You know. So next thing, Parnell's already demonstrating, uh, we've got a helmet there. But you can see, if you look around this space, you can see there's lots of features and formations growing out the ceiling, there's some on the walls, so we've got stalactites which are stuck to the top, growing down. It's just um, fun to go into the cave. So we saw... Um, Fossils, stalagmite, and stalactites. Being away from home was weird because, you know, you, you, you're never away from home, you're mostly just at home and you're never outdoors that much. Half of these activities I, I've never done in my life, and now is the opportunity where I can do them. My name is Antonio. I went up the climbing wall in my wheelchair. It made me feel good. I like the height. So this is Antonio. He's 14. Um, his condition is cerebral palsy quadriplegic, so it affects all four limbs. This week, has, it's given Antonio the opportunity to get involved with everything that wouldn't normally be available for him. I think this week has been really good so I like really good because uh, like the activities and stuff were exciting and um, it's just like a fun and you know, get to hang out with your friends as well. What always helps is a really positive attitude and this is what every one of the students has brought. Um, they face challenges that we can only dream how hard it must be uh, and yet this week when we ask them to do whether it be a climb uh, or an abseil or uh, to go on the swing. Each one has faced it, even though you can see sometimes a little bit of trepidation. It's something they're not used to. It's, not, it's a completely new opportunity. Alfie's absolutely a superstar. And yet each one of them has answered to every single challenge in such a positive way. Really well done, mate. If you face the challenges you've got, like you have the challenges you've been given this week, Nobody is ever, ever going to be able to fault you.